The following is the description of the mission flight profile of the ILS Proton rocket with the KASAT communication satellite on board. As the ILS Proton lifts off from its launch pad, it immediately executes a roll maneuver to align its flight launch azimuth to 61.3 degrees in order to achieve a parking orbit inclination of 51.5 degrees as it travels eastward. The first three stages function to propel the orbital unit to a suborbital trajectory. The orbital unit consists of the BREEZE-M, payload adapter, and the KASAT satellite. The sequence starts with the ignition of the powerful first stage engines that output 11 meganewtons, or 2.5 million pounds of thrust, which is equivalent to the thrust power of nine Airbus 380 commercial jets at takeoff. The engines fire for about two minutes, during which time the ILS Proton experiences maximum dynamic pressure, and then the first stage separates from the rest of the vehicle. The second stage engines follow with nearly 2.4 meganewtons of thrust for 3.5 minutes, and then the third stage engine fires with 583 kilonewtons of thrust for four minutes. The payload fairing is separated soon after third stage ignition high above the Earth's dense atmosphere. The drop zones for each of the stages and the payload fairing have been predetermined for minimal impact to specified areas. At stage three separation, the orbital unit has traveled from Baikonur to Russia near the eastern edge of Kazakhstan at 51.5 degrees north latitude which corresponds to the parking orbit inclination and is moving about 7,300 meters per second or 4.5 miles per second relative velocity. The upper stage of the ILS Proton rocket is called the BREEZE-M and is designed to inject payloads into a wide variety of target orbits. Five BREEZE-M burns have been designed to inject KASAT into a geostationary transfer orbit. The first breeze M burn occurs 94 seconds after the third stage separation when the orbital unit is still in a suborbital trajectory. The burn is in the direction of the velocity vector and will last long enough to achieve a low Earth circular parking orbit of 173 kilometers. This 4.5 minute burn spans from Siberia to Russia's east coast. The second breeze M burn centers the ascending node of the first orbit, whereby the orbital unit crosses the equatorial plane as it travels from south to north. The resulting elliptical orbit is called the intermediate orbit. This 17.8 minute burn spans from South Atlantic 700 miles east of Rio de Janeiro to Libya. A little over two hours after the second burn, the third Breeze-M burn starts. Soon after this burn shuts down, the depleted auxiliary propellant tank is jettisoned, and the fourth Breeze-M burn begins. Just like the second burn, these two combined burns center the ascending node of the second orbit. The resulting orbit is called the transfer orbit, where the apogee is greatly increased to closely match the geosynchronous altitude. These two burns add up to 17.2 minutes and span from South Pacific, 200 miles west of Santiago, Chile, to 500 miles west of Morocco. During the coast phases, the BREEZE-M performs attitude maneuvers in order for the KASAT solar arrays to be exposed to the sun at a predetermined solar illumination angle, which is designed to satisfy its thermal and power requirements. The fifth and final breeze M burn occurs at the apogee in the descending node of the transfer orbit. This is where the orbital unit will perform a big plane change maneuver from 49 degrees to 24.6 degrees inclination and increase its perigee to over 3,700 kilometers in a 5.9 minute burn. About 13 minutes later, the KA Sat satellite is separated from the breeze M to reach its targeted geostationary transfer orbit. The total mission time from launch to spacecraft separation 
is approximately 9 hours and 12 minutes. <laughs>